Okay? Let's go into prayer. Father God, I want to thank you for, for all that you do for me, Father God, that you woke me up this morning so we can assemble with the saints this morning, Father God, so they can give your word, Father God. And Father God, I love you. I magnify you each and day. And Father God, I want you to bless those that didn't arrive today. Keep the blood of Jesus all of them. And bless them that's probably on their way here if they're coming. Father God, I want you to, asking you to bless these souls that need to be saved because Satan is running rampant, Father God. He is, he is opposing your word each and every day, Father God. But we're here. We're here because of you, Father God. And we're enjoying our lives. Satan is fighting us, but he won't defeat us. Because we believe in your word. And your true word, the only word, is your word, Father God. And I want to say a prayer for those, the sick members that we know, like my sister-in-law, Shirley, put the blood of Jesus over her. We found out she had can breast cancer. Heal, Father God. A friend of mine's Kevin. He's in hospice. Heal him. A friend of mine's Lenore, she died the other day. Bless her family. Keep them covered in the blood of Jesus. And everybody around the world, and all of us saints is here today. Any illness that we have, bless us. Save and heal, Father God. And I say this in Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Okay. We're at uh, uh, the nature and the personality of Satan. He is the enemy and accuser of God and man. In Revelations 12, Re Revelations 12, 9 to 12, I, I, I'm going to, uh, it says, it says, 9 to 12, it says, a great dragon was cast out that an old serpent called the devil and Satan which deceives the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels was cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now there's come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the sword of their testimony, by the word of the testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and let that dwell in them. Woe to the inhibitors of the earth and of the seal of the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath because knoweth that he has but a short time. So, so in Ezekiel Elliot 28 to 17, that's that. He is the father of lies. John 8, 24, and a murderer. See, see what Satan is, what Satan does. See, he's an uh, enemy of God. God cast him down because they try to overthrow God. He thought he was. Same as God. He's a shower of discord. And this discord. And let me go back to that. A, a murderer. See, Satan, that's, that's one of the commandments.
uh, that's the sixth commandment, thou shalt not kill. So when, we, we, when Satan see that we get, his spirit gets in our soul to kill somebody, because God say, thou shalt not kill. When, when it, well, I thought about it, and I read about it, uh, uh, was studying about it. Back at the biblical times, like when uh, uh, Brother Mike was teaching about adultery, and they, they went out and stoned the, uh, the adulterer. That was a sin. Because if that's God's commandment, thou shalt not kill. God is the one, he's, he is the one that would put you to death. Not, not, not nobody else should do that because that's, that's his commandment, thou shalt not kill. So when people stone people and that's brutal, Satan rejoiced on that. The simple reason because that's what he do. He put discord, he, put, he, he smiled upon it because he thinks he's more powerful than God. That's why he took a third of his accused, a third of the angels, was cast out of heaven. One third. So their souls is, we don't know how many followers that Satan had, but you, you can imagine. And they, they, they run rampant, they all over. See, Satan comes to us in our spirit. He don't come like, like they got that picture on here. It, that's not Satan. That's not how Satan looks. Nobody knows how Satan looks because Satan is, is the spirit. So you don't, they, see, this is what he do. He put, he put these, that in our minds so we could think he looks like that. But we don't know what Satan looks like because Satan is a spirit. Amen. Just like the Holy Ghost is a spirit. We don't know. That we can feel the Holy Ghost just like when Satan comes. And he's, that, he's the first one that sinned. The first sinner is right here. The first sinner, the first rebel, and the first to concentrate himself to self-gratification and wage war against six, all society. That means that's what he do. That's, that's just what he do. He raged war. He raged war against God, and God, he knew what God knows. But not, that's not what Satan did. He thinks he's more powerful than God because God cast him hat and said, you have there. Just like uh, he cast out and he deceived Eve. Even, even Satan knew Jesus Christ, and he tried to get him to sin. But Jesus rebut him. It's written in the Bible. So like I said before, that he's a murderer, and when people uh, murdered other people, that was a sin. And they and they cast out, and, and that's why sin is still running rampant. Even though when uh, when Adam sinned, God put him out the Garden of Eden, but he repented because God loved him. Before, before he would, God had Adam here for a reason, to produce and have bear children and Eve. Adam was 125 years old before they started having children. He lived to be 800 and still was having children because God loved him. He repented. There's it's a lot of things you can see. Just like, for example, like Noah. Noah started building the ark. He was 600 years old. 600, because he was without sin, and God chose him, even though all the mother people, he, he, they knew the word. Satan would not allow them. They followed Satan's word. They were sinning, and God kept. God could destroy the world anytime he wanted to. It, 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 even when he uh, Jesus died on the cross for our sins. He could have blew on and destroyed the whole world, just like he did with with Pharaoh. Moses, he kept telling Pharaoh, Moses, let my people go. They, he, he showed Pharaoh what he could do. All the plagues. Pharaoh still, he kept, he still kept sinning and got what God did to Pharaoh. Then Pharaoh finally said, hey, please, you can have this. Get out. But God <laughs> kept his heart hardened. God told him, y'all can leave. You can have this. You can take everything. Just go. But but he still sinned. 
And, and God, just like he said the murder, God was the judge with him because he kept his heart hardened, brought him out there and destroyed Pharaoh because you kept sinning and that we, I showed you my power and you would not abide by it. So, so that's why I'm saying when you go, people go and hear this word about the adulterer and all that and they go out and stone him, they said, they, he said, let me be the judge and jury. And you go out and do your sinning. And that's how the sin and, that, and Satan smiled. And, and upon that, he praised that, that you would do what he wants you to do. And we have to keep it in our spirit not to sin. And Amen. even in Amen. our thoughts. I thought, I, I had thoughts. Sometimes I, I, the things I'd be thinking about, and I just keep praying, God, take that away. And he takes that thought out of my mind. Amen. And I can keep going. On. Even though Satan will put it back in there again, I'll keep repenting, get it out of my mind. Yeah. Just like things, you know, you can do certain things. You can have a thought to do it. But God gave us common sense. And he's given us the word, you, us, you and I, the saints, that not to follow that Satan Amen. word that gets in your spirit. Stay in the word. You stay in the word. That's why we're here. We have to stay in the word because cause I know we all do. We all have yep, to. We get right. mad at somebody. We wonder, and then, and then I can imagine. I used to do certain things, and I use that phrase: "The devil made me do it." You're right; he did make you do it, but you didn't have to listen. The devil made me do it, but then you was not supposed to do that. And you could use that excuse, but he did make you do it, and you followed. Uh, uh, God put in your spirit too to rebuke that. So that's what we have to do. Exactly. Amen. But you know what? I don't think the yeah. devil make us do anything. We do it deliberate. We do it on our own deliberately. Well, he put the thought in you. Exactly. But then the it's thought. up to us to say no. no. So that's we can't say the devil made us do it. We did it because we wanted to do it. Because just like the devil, that spirit is there. We also have the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is there to tell us not to do it. So you're going to either go with the devil or you're going to go with the, you're going to go with the Holy Spirit which the Holy Spirit, we know in all cases, is always right. So we make that choice. And I always say, when we get to the end, when, we go, when we're doing something, we always got the choice of doing the right thing or the wrong thing. And the first thing should come to our minds is, what would Jesus do? Would Jesus do that? <laughs> okay, right. if Jesus wouldn't do it, then we shouldn't be doing it either. But I had a question in reference to, um, as far as sin is concerned, sin and tell me if, if I'm right or wrong with this, sin, when, when they were living to, to be, you know, 900, I guess maybe 1,000 years old. Well, the, the oldest descended from uh, Adam was 927 years old. Okay, so that's when he passed away. Yes. Okay. The oldest so, descended from Adam was 927. Okay, so before, there was no man before Adam? No. Okay, so once Adam came and Adam sinned, is that the reason why we don't live as long as we live anymore? Because, because sin, sin entered into, into our, our, our bodies. Our bodies and from Adam, and we was cast out. And, and just like I say, he let, who was, when you, when, like Noah, Noah was 600 years old when he built an ark because he was out, he was out sin. He was not a sinner, so he lived a long time. Okay, so, but he sinned, he passed at 600 years old. He came after Adam. So how did he be, how, how, why was he able to live so long? Because, well, Adam was 800. See, they repented. They okay. repent. They, okay, Adam so it repented. kept getting, so okay, they, they, they shorter and shorter and, and shorter, shorter and shorter. shorter. And uh, as, as we went along, everybody kept sinning. So life span got shorter and shorter. Okay. See, Adam repented. That's why he lived so long and, and was able to bear children, him and Eve, to 800. Gotcha. But as long as you were sinning and the sin went from one generation to the another and your life span, and, and that's all, all our ancestors. That's why we don't, some of us don't live long. God is still judging us. Amen. So that's why we, you know, hey, listen, we have to repent to God to, and stay in his word every day. Just like yeah. certain, you know, just like certain religions, like it's, supposed, it's one God, it's one religion. But we got so many sects of religion. We got, we got Baptist, we got Holiness, Pentecostal, Pentecostal, Pentecostal. Apostolic, 
uh, 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 Catholics, but it's all supposed to be Christianity. It was, it was, it was the Jews and the Gentiles. And, and see, all that works come from Satan. That's it. I got to read some more. It's, it, uh, okay. Oh, you did? Okay. I, it, it's really not a question. It's um, to Annie, to that question you had. See, from my readings, right, when you say you was asking a question about how they live so long mm -hmm. than us, we, in the Bible, it's in Genesis, it says, like, God became angry with us because a lot of people had stared away from us. I mean, right. from, from him. Mm -hmm. And uh, the angels started coming down, being with the women and making babies. And so it, that grieved God. Like, he, you know, he started becoming angry. So he changed the lifespan from, the, I think the oldest person was Methuselah, 960, 920, no, it was 69, I thought it was yeah, 927. 969, 69, yeah. Well, you, you're and right. he changed that to That's the Methuselah lifespan to 120 oldest, years. So it was kind of like back then, right, be, right before okay. Noah. Okay. Okay. Right, yeah. All right. Okay. And one other question, when you were saying that God judges us now, I, are we being judged now? We always being judged. We be judged for everything you do. But God, I, God judges because our flesh, God judges every day. And that's why we have to walk in his word every day. We can try, as long as we pray and repent to God, he's going to judge it. And when judgment day comes, everybody's going to be judged. So it was judge not and, and be not judged. That's I didn't right. know God was judging us. Oh, he, ju he judges. If you read the certain scripture, he do ju he, he judgment because he, he wants to see if you you do what he asked you to do. Okay, yeah, I thought as his people, we were not being judged. No, he I don't, guess he, I was wrong. No, no, he, he judges us. He don't want us to judge because he's the judge. He, he don't. Judge, not judge. Yeah. Okay. And then the judgment brings conviction. And he tells us to judge ourselves. And that's what brings the conviction in us. And I find myself judging myself more and more and more. Every well, we, action, we, things, feelings that I get in me. And you know that we think it's so innocent. But I find myself judging that. Now, why did you feel that way about that, you know? And then God will bring conviction and then open up my understanding with the conviction, judgment, and then conviction. And with the conviction comes knowledge. Because after I feel convicted, he's like, he's like a parent that, you know, I'm going to spank you, but I'm going to teach you why I had to correct you. And that, that's what I find after conviction, God will open up my understanding of why and how I was supposed to feel and think about that. Okay, amen. Okay, here we go. All right. He's wicked. That's Matthew 8 to 13. John 8 to 44. John 3, 8 to 5 to 18. Malignant, Luke, cowardly, temper, a thief. He, he steals, he tries to steal your soul. He's a thief in the night. Without principles and taking advantage of men. And at the, see, that's what take advantage of men in their weak moments. That's when you get weak and unspiritually, it's like we have to pray. We pray for, we, we say a prayer for everyone because we can all be weak because of the flesh. Amen. Amen. We all can be weak. So that's, why, that's one reason why we praise God and get glory to God. Because this with Adam, Adam was at a weak moment when he ate the forbidden fruit. Adam was put, Adam should have known. We think Adam should have known that that was a forbidden fruit, but he was at a weak moment. It was, it was flesh. Yes, he was whipped, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. What that mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was whipped. 
That's right. <laughs> Praise God. At that weak moment, in, in tempering men after great success, see, that's one thing there, after great success, in tempering men. He, he puts you in his spirit, in man's spirit, to do other than what God say. So, he's a, see, in, all right, and um, tempering men in suggesting the use of the right things at the wrong time, the right things at the wrong way and at the wrong time. He's a slanderer of God to men and men to God. That's, see, men to God. That's when men defy God, talk about God, use God's name in vain, Satan rejoiced on that. He, that's a plus for him because, as we say, he's a deceiver, he's a thief, he's a counterfeiter, and he wants to show discord in, in everything we do. We have to pray all the time, praise. you wondering with all certain religions, as long as we pray and ask God for our printing, he, he, we will be forgiven. And deluding his followers as their eternal end. So, his followers, all the, the third of the angels that he brought down, they can be standing, you never know how they look. You, that spirit gets in you, he sends, he's not, he covers it, but he got his followers covering all over this world. Because there's so much going on, Satan's running rampant. So many killings. So much he's he wants it, he wants them souls to go along because he knows he has limited time. He knew that he's his his time is limited. So everyone, just like the third of the angels that he brought down with him, he wanted he wanted to take us with him as many as he can. That's that's what happened written heaven. That he wants to take so many of us along with him. But long as we fight and keep God on our side, he cannot take us. And he will. Amen. He will. Amen. He will keep, keep it up in our souls. He wants to take us. And we, we fight a battle at each day. But I feel good for the day that I'm here. Because I used to be one of his, I can say with truth, I was his follower. And it's. And I, and I had a, see, one thing I can tell you, I was his follower. I can't, the same people used to follow me when I was doing uh, uh, Satan's work. They will not follow me now. He still got them. And all mm. I do, all I do wow. is ask them. I said, you follow me. You listen to me to get in trouble. And I asked him, come on to church with me. You know, if, if I go to church, you know it, it's for real. But it was for real. We go destroy, we would go destroy her people. A lot of that killed people. And that was, and I repented to God. I repent every day. He keeps in, he, he keeps in my mind, you know what you used to do. Don't think you didn't. I seen what you did. I know who you are. Amen. Don't act like you don't know who I know who you are. And I say, and I get on the knees, I said, I thank you, God, for sparing my life that I'm able to be up here today, Lord. Yes. yes. From your mercy. You showed me mercy. And, and the thing I can do is show you that I love you, Lord. And so that's what we have to do. We because have to also remember, when we're like that, when we know where we came from, we yes. have to also remember that we can't judge other people. Right. That's, that's, we cannot that, judge other people when we come to that. And that's what I'm learning now. Like, you, can, you can't judge other people. You can You know, not. you've been through that. It's easy for us to say that he's wrong, she's wrong, they're wrong. But in actuality, we're all wrong. So we just got to trust God and pray for everyone. Even with all the killings and stuff going on out here now, all we can do is pray and pray and pray and pray some more. Yes, we are living in a wicked world today, and we are living in the last days, but we have to remember that God is still in control. Yes. And yes. it, 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 here's in, okay, uh, in appearing as an angel of the light, a true deceiver. See, 
Just like you say, he appears to us as an angel. He's a counterfeiter, deceiver. He, he appeared to us. He, he appeared to us in our souls and, and tried to get in the heart. But we, we, have a, we have a thing to fight him back. We have this word. We have this Bible. In the word of God, the true word of God. Well, we know this is the truth. He is presumptuous, proud, deceitful, fiery, and cruel. Fierce. A fierce, and, fierce and cruel, aggressive. He's very, he's very aggressive. He never gives up. He stays on his job. That's his job to do. This is this is God sent him down. This for this is his kingdom to run, but. He cannot stay long to run it because he knows he's got limited time, as I said before. we got limited time, and we have to, we, we as saved Christians, we have to remember that God loves us. God, God loved Satan. He could have destroyed Satan, but he gave him, he knew what he was doing. See, that's, that's some of the mysteries of heaven. We don't, we don't understand why he didn't destroy Satan. God knows. We can't question that. We can't, we can't, we don't know why. We, why would he let us, him be here for us to be sinning? That's God's question to answer us. If we get up there to see him, see him then he'll, he'll tell us. He'll let us know. Your next section uh, tells us why does God allow Satan to continue. Oh, okay, yeah. But you so, know, I know he... If if we didn't have the devil chasing us, then we would never grow. Because if things were easy, why would we serve God? Why would we turn to God? And right. we learn through tribulations. Tribulations work with patience. And this is all the trials and all the tests and everything that's thrown at us and, and everything. It is preparing us for that heavenly mansion that he promised is waiting for us up there. Amen. All right. Uh, Satan has never been known to be merciful, good, loving, kind, gentle, pitiful, patient, or to have any of the grace of God since he became the enemy of God. He's the enemy of God and man. He is compared to a Flower of follower, follow of followers. It, this is in Psalms 91 3. Foul, Matthew, a wolf, John 10 12, a destroyer, John 10 10, a roaring lion, 1 Peter 19, a serpent, Revelation. 12, 9, I, I, that's, that's where we was at, right here, Revelation 12, 9, 12, 9, yes. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the, uh, and the great dragon was cast out, and the serpent, a, 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 a dragon in Revelation. Why does... So we're going to stop right there, and then, then what I'm going to do is um, the next time I'm going to start on why does God allow Satan to continue? And we can go, we can start on there next time, and we'll go through that and see, and, and I'll tell you what's going on with Satan. But as we know, and I, I thank you that God, God is going to allow us to keep this in our heart and spirit what Satan does, because we all know Satan is a deceiver. He for, he, his, his rec he recognized that we are weak as men and women at times, but God put it in our spirit, in our heart, to read his word, stay in his word, and then we can overcome some of the things what Satan do. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right, um, let's go into prayer. Father God, 
I want to give you all the glory, magnify you for letting me be up here in this situation to speak the word that you put in my heart and soul, and I hope you put it in everyone's heart and soul, this lesson, and keep this lesson going, because we all know Satan's the deceiver, Father God. We're fighting against him, Father God. We're not going to let him win, Father God, because he's a loser, and you're the winner, Father God. And as we leave here, depart here today, keep the blood of Jesus up so we can ride home safely. And Pastor E, whatever he's, he's in there preaching the word, keep the blood of Jesus over him and the first lady, Father God, because without him, he's leading his, we, he, we leading us sheep. We his sheep and he's a good shepherd. We love him as you love him. And as you love us, Father God. And we all give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. And thank you. All right, Minister Chesney, you can take over. All righty, praise the Lord. Give Deke a hand for that lesson that we had this morning. Amen. On Satan, on Satan, on Satan.